One local MP says he has a plan to create 120,000 new apprenticeships at no extra cost to the government. And he's so convinced that this will work that he's lobbying ministers. Well, let's find out how it will work. The Conservative MP for Harlow, Robert Halfen, joins us now on the telephone. Robert Halfen, good morning to you. Uh, good morning. So, how will, how will it work? Simple question. Um, well, as you say, I have a passionate belief in apprentices and have employed the first ever uh, uh, apprentice working for me in the House of Commons um, for an MP. But what I'm asking the government to do is actually follow the lead of Essex Council. Um, Derek Lewis, a county councillor, and the officers have brought through a groundbreaking scheme that's unique across the country that urges any firm who wants a contract with the council to hire at least 5% of their workforce as apprentices, and which firms, for example, is actually better value than paying expensive contractors from Europe or other foreign countries. Now, I'm urging the government to follow Essex Council's lead and adopt this across the board in every government department so that whenever anyone bids for a contract, they should hire apprentices. And there is some uh, uh, lee leeway because the Department of Work and Pensions are now doing this as well. And there are now 2,000 extra apprentices at the uh, department in the past year, purely because any contractor wanting any uh, government contract with that department has to, uh, is asked voluntarily to hire 5% of its workforce as apprentices. What do the businesses think of this? Because presumably they want the best people they can hire, and that's not necessarily complete novices, is it? Well, um, yes, but uh, businesses also want young people to train. Many apprentices actually are taken on by businesses afterwards, and uh, most people who become apprentices usually get off benefits and get into to work. And the beauty of this scheme is it's not compulsory, but it's voluntary, but most of businesses are taking it up, and the Essex Council scheme has been incredibly successful. If this was implemented across government, we would create 120,000 extra apprenticeships almost overnight and take uh, you know all those people off the dole queues it would be a fantastic boost for youth unemployment to get youth unemployment down i can see entirely what you're saying i'm, I'm just not sure how the, how the numbers add up though if you've got a business that employs currently i don't know a hundred people including contractors how are they going to find capacity in their payroll to employ an, another five percent well, don't forget the government's also subsidising apprenticeships and, and there's been about 400,000 extra apprenticeships created in, in the last year. And In fact, in Harlow, the number of apprenticeships have gone up by 76%. So, but what we're saying is that if um, a company wants to uh, procure a contract with government, they should voluntarily to agree to have 5% of their workforce have an apprentice. It's actually cheaper for the company because they then don't have to hire expensive contractors. Please don't think I'm quibbling, but if the government is helping out with these schemes, then it's not at no extra cost to the government, is it? No, of course not. But the government, you know, have said that they want to invest in apprenticeships. And it's very important in that. And so, therefore, they've agreed to subsidise some of the cost, not all of the cost, but some of the cost for apprenticeship schemes across across the, the UK. And it's very, very important uh, to do that. With the procurement, um, the companies who get government contracts are going to benefit by millions and millions of pounds by getting those government contracts from the taxpayer. So it's right to ask that they should give something in return and hire apprenticeships. So what are you doing to promote this idea across the country? Well, um, I've raised uh, it on the floor of the House of Commons on numerous times. Um, I've had meetings with the Apprentice Minister. Only two weeks ago, I had a meeting with the Chancellor, a private meeting to discuss this and presented them with a paper. I tabled a Commons motion, which has now been signed by 16 MPs. And uh, I just continue to put as much pressure on the government to adopt this scheme across the board. If Essex Council can lead the way across the country, if the Department of Work and Pensions can follow Essex Council's lead, then uh, we're making some progress. Uh, with all due respect, if you've got 16 MPs on board, there's there's quite a long way to go, isn't there? Yes, but Rome uh, um, wasn't built in a day. And the um, Department of Work and Pensions are doing this now, and they've actually managed to increase the number of apprenticeships by uh, 2,000 in the past uh, year or so. And uh, we just have to... Uh, continue to put on the pressure. There are many, many MPs who are supportive of apprenticeships and public procurement, and I just think that if I can continue to campaign on it, I'll continue to uh, urge government ministers, and hopefully we'll be able to get this adopted across the board and really make a difference to youth unemployment. Robert Halfen, I, I know many people will admire the way that you, you, know, you, you do these, th this thing, but also you're leading by example. As you say, you've taken on your own apprentice. Have you actually managed to encourage any other MPs to take that step? 
Yes, in fact, um, I now employ my second uh, MP apprentice, and he's a fantastic chap called Lewis Luck, who comes from Harlow College. And um, we've set up a parliamentary academy. I work very closely with an incredible charity called New Deal of the Mind. And we now set up a parliamentary academy, and that charity has agreed to subsidise the cost of four MPs of employing an apprentice in their office. And a number of MPs from all parties, not just a Conservative thing, from MPs from all parties have taken this up. And uh, we hope that it will be taken up across the board because it's much better than MPs employ genuine apprentices rather than just have free interns or people from Oxbridge who are, come from privileged backgrounds or whatever. All right, great to have you on the programme. Thank you very much for joining us. Robert Halfon, the MP for Harlow.